this problem looks similar in the setup to number five in that we do have two fractions set equal to one another, but there's no additional numbers like a plus one or minus two. So I'm going to use cross multiplying to solve. I mean, you may recognize at this point, by the way, that this is one way, and you can distribute and solve, or others may have recognized with rational equations, the denominators are the same. You can just cancel out the denominators and then solve the top. So if we were solving here, I could use this method to solve, distribute, move everything to the side with the x squared, factor and solve, or I can see that again the denominators are the same. I cancel them out and only solve the top. This gives you an answer, two answers, of x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. Now before you can officially make those your final answers, you always have to check for extraneous solutions. Let's go back up to the original. If I plug in 2 and I get 4, I plug in 2 and I get 4, I'm good to go. But if I plug in negative 2 in for x, then this expression in the denominator now equals 0. We can't have 0 in the denominator. It would make it undefined. This is an extraneous solution. It's not the correct answer. My final answer is only positive 2.